Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video is going to be a new Will I Buy It? This is the series that I post every single Wednesday where I'm chatting over new makeup releases, talking my way through them, am I planning to pick them up, am I going to pass over them? I'll link my playlist down below. I will also link the community Will I Buy It? playlist. I started this so any creator who makes the style of new releases video can add theirs to the playlist if you want to see a bunch of different opinions and thoughts from a bunch of different creators. But we do have a lot to chat about this week, so let me go ahead and get started. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and scoot over so I can add in some photos can you see my shirt because I got it from Target and I like I was walking by and I saw it I was like I have to have this shirt <laughs> they had so many I went to Target last week and they had so many like nostalgia throwback type of clothes and I was just like all over the place so, so I was really excited about this shirt because this is how I used to take my photos and then I would wait to get the film developed. Wasn't that the days where you had no idea what you were actually taking a picture of? You just pointed the camera and you hoped for the best and you hoped your thumb wasn't over it and you hoped you were in focus and you hoped it wasn't blurry. I mean, so many things could go wrong. So uh, starting off, I am reading off the Trend Mood 1 Instagram, so I do always link her in my description box. I thought I would start off with some brushes. I am known for having uh, a weakness when it comes two brushes and I knew that Sigma was doing a collaboration with Jordan Liberty and these brushes look so so good which I didn't like I I expected that to happen but honestly I didn't expect to be so drawn to them um so yeah that's where we're at this is the master artistry collection a new collaboration with sigma and jordan liberty um i know jordan liberty also did a collaboration recently with stelazi they came out with an eyeshadow palette uh so this is it says antimicrobial sigma tech fibers 100 percent waterproof from tip to tail patented double threaded interlocking ferrules and resin handles there's a two-year warranty that's pretty standard on sigma beauty brushes this is a limited edition set of 14 brushes and a brush cup so there's a variety of different brushes in here from face to eyes some of the big face brushes i just want to like they look so good you know not that i want to eat them i don't want to eat them i don't recommend eating makeup brushes. It says this is $249 and $25 of each purchase supports the AACR Foundation. It's a nonprofit organization that supports the American Association for Cancer Research. It'll be available March 3rd, so it should be available now, so I will link it down below. Um, and available on the Sigma Beauty website. I am an affiliate with Sigma Beauty. I'm not sure, Trendwood has her code listed here, so I'm assuming probably codes are gonna work on this one. Uh, I do have my affiliate code with Sigma. It's Samantha, that gets you, I believe it's 10% off every purchase that you make from the website. I don't know if I will get this one in PR since it's a collaboration. I don't, um, I don't always tend to get some of those. Like I kind of get like Sigma's, you know, regular releases and all of that. And I'm, I'm like waffling back and forth because I really, really want these. Sigma has great quality brushes. I've been using Sigma brushes since before I started a YouTube channel and I think that they're amazing. I have recently bought a lot of brushes though. I have bought the sets from Milk Makeup and Sephora, Makeup by Mario and Sephora. Like I, I definitely have a lot of brushes, but brushes are one of those things that a lot of times I can talk myself into it because it's like, it's makeup brushes. Like I know that I'll use it instead of it being like another lipstick or another eyeshadow palette where it's like you can only use it so much. Brushes they're brushes they're great they're, I love brushes and the only other thing too is I think that you can only buy it in the set the set for $249 that's very expensive even with the 10% off that is still very expensive I do really like that you know the $25 of each is going to a nonprofit. I think that's really amazing but sometimes I try not to buy bigger sets because sometimes I don't always need some of the brushes or not all of the brushes really call to me but honestly a lot of these do look really good I'm a little bit torn on this one. I really, really want it. I'm trying to talk myself through it. If, if I really need it, do I need to add even more brushes to my collection right now? But I'm highly, highly intrigued by that Sigma brush set. But I definitely got a lot of tags on this new release from Pure Cosmetics. They are doing another Trolls collaboration. So Pure has collabed with Trolls the movie in the past. I actually really, really loved, I think it was the first eyeshadow palette in the collection that they came out with. And it totally caught me off guard. This was years and years ago. Um, but it totally, 
caught me off guard how much I enjoyed it and I talked about it in so many of my videos using it recommending it I enjoyed it so much I believe they did another collaboration and I want to say I didn't love that palette as much or now I might be thinking of the My Little Pony. There's always so many releases, it's hard to keep track. Um, but, they're, so they're coming out with another one, so about celebrating the new movie, Trolls World Tour. Now, to be honest, I can't say I'm really, like, I'm not, like, a Trolls diehard fan. I'm, I'm not really familiar with that. I didn't know a new movie was coming out. But, uh, we have some new products for this collaboration. There are six eyeshadow palettes and these are $18 each and these are very like small like very like compact small eyeshadow palettes um so that's interesting packaging there's also a top of the charts face trio and lip gloss and that's $28 this is going to be available March 5th online at Pure Cosmetics and I believe that these I think I saw them on the Ulta website this morning I always just kind of browse Sephora and Ulta and just like see what's going on and I'm pretty sure that they were there so I will have everything that I'm talking about linked down below if it's available okay so I I like I think I want to want the eyeshadow palettes because I remember how much I enjoyed the first ones this is completely different though because the first one was like an actual eyeshadow palette you know it opened up it had a mirror it had the rose I want to say it was like I don't know 16 eyeshadows or something like that where these are definitely very different and you have a shade in the middle and you know corresponding ones i like that there's different kind of color schemes to it though you have like your more neutral one there's a pinky one a purple one um one with a little bit more color to it there's a more like the one with like the silver and the red and the black in there so i like that there's a variety it's not just like one or two different ones um i do like smaller products i like makeup minis a lot um i did just purchase two more elf cosmetics eyeshadow palettes i think i mentioned that i purchased cream and sugar one of the four pan palettes from elf that came out that were three dollars each well i liked it so much i went back to target and i bought berry bad and also pumpkin pie i think it's called um i do have swatches of all three palettes on my instagram which is march beauty word if you would like to check that out so I'm thinking that I probably don't need these ones from Pure. Again, I feel like I was like trying to talk myself into them. Um, $18 for kind of like the smaller little one. It's, it's not bad, but I don't know. I didn't get as excited as I thought maybe I would be. But maybe that these, you know, they might be great. I, I'm not sure. Um, uh, but I'm really curious. Are you guys planning to get these? The swatches, the swatches do look nice, which makes me think that, you know, hopefully they would be pretty decent the face palette does look really pretty too with the bronzer the blush and the highlight but i'm gonna try to talk myself out of this collection but let me know what you guys think I, this is another one that i feel like i can kind of go back and forth on but again especially because i just purchased three new eyeshadow palettes and then the love palette and then the, the Sailor Moon just came in from ColourPop and then the two news like there's a lot going on I have so many reviews that are due I always like to follow up with my first impressions I like to follow up with my hauls and like I I owe everyone so many reviews right now and I can only get through things so quickly so you know just one person but let me know if you guys are super curious about it or would want to see looks if I get a lot of requests you know maybe I could take that into consideration it is my birthday month welcome to March it's my birthday month. It's going to be a pretty epic month. I can't, I, I can't wait for this month. I think it's going to be great. Um, what it also means that I get, is it like double points at Ulta? So, you know, factor that into there too. So that's always great. And I think I got like a $10 off coupon or something to use towards an order. So, you know, that's an idea too. If something really sticks out to me at Ulta, that's, you know, kind of an incentive there. This was interesting. Too Faced is coming out with quite quite a few new releases but one that really caught my attention was this is the advanced primed and poreless face powder and face primer it says for skin so poreless and smooth okay the primed and poreless not the power powder but the the primer that kind of caught my attention because this was actually one of the first products i ever purchased from Too Faced was their primed and poreless i mean i don't even know i think i was still in college when i started buying this and I loved it and I remember I still I had my 
did I have yeah I had my blog um at this time and I remember telling so many people friends my sister that I was like I love this primer so much I did a podcast one time with Jamie Walsh who has the glam latte and she has the glam latte podcast and she called us first generation bloggers and I thought that was really funny so that's like really throwing it back to those days um and I actually was uh a, a initial like reviewer for Too Faced when they were still very new um, and they were launching products they had bloggers that would work with them that would get products in PR for review but we would also submit our feedback directly to Too Faced even before our launches came out we would get products and we would submit our feedback um, that was like that was like circa 2009, I want to say. I mean, it was it was a while ago, but I used to do that. Um, and I loved it. I had so much fun with it. But that's why it makes me, like, the Prime and Pore List just caught my attention for that reason. I was like, wait, I used to use that product a ton, you know, a decade ago. So it looks like they are, you know, reformulating. Um, it says pore banishing and blurring a face primer. Um, I, honestly, I'm a little bit curious to try it. I know I was reading some of the comments and people are like, this is, this is lame. Like you already came out with this product, but I don't know, for someone who used to love it so long ago, it makes me wonder like, what's the new formula like? Would I still love it as much? I don't know. It, it makes me curious about it. I mean, hello, look at my shirt. Like, click. Okay. Um, the powder, I don't know if I'm as interested in the powder. I would probably lean towards like the regular primer as it is. Um, so yeah, that's what I think about those releases from Too Faced and a little story time for you. But they're also coming out with the Peach Perfect Instant Coverage Matte Concealer. So it's waterproof, sweatproof, lasts for 14 hours, covers anything you want from pigmentation to acne scars. It's a lightweight, soft matte, it tr uh, truly blends seamlessly onto the skin. You can use your finger or they do have a new brush. I don't see a price on this one yet or a date. It just says coming soon. I'm curious about some of these claims on here that like it really covers anything, pigmentation, acne scars. I do have a scar on the side of my nose from um, a piercing. Nothing has removed it. I did laser for it. All it was was extremely expensive and extremely painful um, and nothing happened. Literally not one percentage of a change <laughs> with the scar on my nose from getting my nose pierced. I'm kind of curious about this one. I know a lot of people really liked the Peach Perfect foundation. I feel like that foundation got a lot of hype. I don't know if I love kind of the pop form. That's not usually what I go for. Um, I tend to go like, I, I just kind of like the more regular one. I just purchased the Pat McGrath concealer, which I have on today and I'm super impressed with it by the way. So, you know, I'll probably wait to see the, the price on it and everything, but a little bit curious, just not really sure it's something that I have to hop on. Um, speaking of like scars and hiding things and all of that, this is kind of curious to me. So a new product by Sand and Sky. They're coming out with the Australian Pink Clay Smoothing Body Sand. It's a four-in-one formula to deeply detox, smooth, moisturize, and illuminate. It's going to be $34.90. It says deeply cleansing and smoothing for silky soft touch me skin. It gently exfoliates to tackle cellulite, stretch marks, and ingrown hairs. Has a blend of coconut and macadamia shell moisturizing formula. Leaves skin soft and smooth. Looking at some of the, the photos on this, like it looks like you can use it in a variety of different places, but um, to help leave the skin smooth. But also it says about the cellulite and stretch marks. Honestly, I mean, again, like that's something that I deal with, especially on like my legs and my hips. Um, those are areas like I don't like wearing shorts. I don't like wearing short dresses. I don't like the backs of my legs. Um, I don't like wearing swimsuits. It's just not a favorite of mine, but I've tried a lot of products over the years and not a whole lot really helps with that. I would try it. I would try it for you. I would try it for research. I would try it for you just saying no I'm just kidding um but I mean I am curious about it but I'm just I feel like I'm also so like I've tried so many things and nothing has worked <laughs> like you know what I mean that I'm like would this really work but if it did great if it didn't well it'd just probably be like everything else that doesn't work on cellulite and stretch marks <laughs> the bane of my existence <laughs> all right let us know your thoughts on that one for sure though Okay, so we have a new product from Supergoop. It says, this is a new glow screen, SPF 40, a lightweight glow boosting primer that provides instant illumination plus SPF 40. At $36, it creates a dewy canvas for makeup or can also be worn without makeup for fresh place, fresh face 
glow. <laughs> Packed with hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, and vitamin B5 to help to help skin glow from the inside out. A little bit curious about this. I mean, SPF is good to use all year round. Um, I also do use retinol pretty regularly, so when you use retinol, SPF is especially very important. Um, but I think kind of going into at least where I am going into the warmer months and all of that, that's when it like I feel like a lot of brands will start to amp up SPF products, but it's also when my mind just starts clicking even more like this, you know, just make sure that you have it. But um, again, it's important all times of the year. Uh, a beauty tip that I picked up a few months ago, I think it was from like Khloe Kardashian. She said she leaves a sunscreen in her car because she puts sunscreen on her hands and her neck when driving. And I have started doing that because I have noticed a lines on my neck, but only my left side, not my right side. I've noticed my left eye, like my under eye has more exaggerated lines than my right side. And this is the side that is on the driver's side when I'm driving and I feel like I can notice a difference on this side of my body and so I've started to put SPF in my car and when I'm driving I just make sure to put it on my hands and put it on my neck I try to do SPF in the morning in my skincare routine um but again I have it in my car as backup if need be so SPF is very important but um, I feel like this sounds like a nice product because it's also a primer and it's supposed to give you kind of that instant glow as well and then also have that SPF 40 so that is nice $36. Um, I feel like this is something that I, I'll want to look into and I feel like I think maybe Dermalogica has a product like this too. I think there's a few brands that do I believe Drunk Elephant does also um, so it's just kind of one of those that I would I just want in my collection kind of regardless but this one definitely does sound really nice I haven't tried anything from super goop but I think that one sounds pretty good I got quite a few tags on this new release from Glossier they are coming out with a sky wash this is a sheer matte lid tint liquid to powder eyeshadow that gives a diffused soft effect comes in seven shades inspired by dreamy southwest landscapes and it is $18 okay um this isn't a type of product that I tend to use often. A lot of times when I'm going for eyeshadows, I, I'm just kind of going for my palettes. I don't use um, kind of more of these liquid singles <laughs> as often. So I don't think that this would be a great purchase for me and what I tend to reach for. Um, some of the colors in here do look really pretty. Uh, I, I'm kind of a fan of that. How much are these? $18. So I, I don't know. I just I don't think that it would be a good purchase for me. I don't see myself reaching for them very often, but I would definitely like to see some reviews on them. I mean, maybe people really love them. I don't tend to purchase a ton from Glossier either. Sometimes some of their releases catch my attention, but I really don't tend to, to purchase from them too much. And again, I just don't think that would be a good release for me in my collection and what I reach for. Let's see, uh, Milani is coming out with some new releases. They have a new collection that's available now at Walgreens. This is the Ludacris Lights collection. There's a blue, peach, and pink that includes uh, three Ludacris Lights lip glosses, which are a collab with Allie Brooke. I'm not familiar with her. I believe she looks to be like a singer. There's also three Ludacris Lights dual chrome highlighters and three Ludacris eye toppers. Um, I can't say anything really calls to me from this collection, so I'll probably pass over it. It just doesn't like really scream me or anything that I have to run out and get. I'm not familiar with the collaborator on this one either, so I'll probably pass over that one. Um, speaking of SPF, <laughs> like I said, I feel like a lot of brands are going to be coming out with this. Um, Kylie Skin, which is Kylie Cosmetic Skincare Company, is coming out with a broad spectrum SPF 40 face sunscreen, weightless, invisible, and so smooth, no white residue. I just see coming soon. I don't see a price on it either, but that, oh, that's interesting. It does look, um, like in the swatch photo that I'm seeing on Trend Mood, like it looks to be like a clear one, which usually sunscreen is white. Um, so that's kind of interesting, but again, there's probably going to be a lot of different choices. I'd say just go with your favorite, your most loved. Do you guys have favorites? If you want to leave it in the comments, I think that would be great. Um, cause I really, I don't know if I have like a number one absolute favorite. So I'll be curious to get some of your comments if you do. I see a new release from Natasha Denona. It says the new and improved glow. This is the Face Glow Cream Shimmer. Illuminating cream stick perfectly fuses to skin for a glow that seems to come from within. 
Uh, there is light, medium, or dark. It's $38 in new packaging, and this is a new formula. I haven't tried the original ones from Natasha Denona. I don't tend to gravitate towards cream or liquid products. I actually, I have a liquid highlight on today, of course, as I say that. Um, but the one from Charlotte Tilbury, her Magic Wand highlights have like totally surprised me how much I enjoy them. I have the new shade on Pillow Talk, which is available now. Um, so I always link all of my makeup in my description box. So if you're curious about it, I also tried something new with my makeup today. I did like a TikTok challenge, TikTok trend. I don't really know what you would call it. I'm new to TikTok, but I'm on there. If you would like to follow me, I'm Samantha March Beauty. I'll have it in the description box. But there's, um, I saw this trend that you're supposed to, like a new way to apply makeup is not a new way. And I don't even think she said new way in there. I think she said this has been going on for a while, but um, this was my first time trying it this way, where it was moisturizer, then setting your moisturizer with a translucent powder, spraying with a setting spray, then coming in with primer and foundation. So that's what I tried today. So <laughs> if you'd want to check that out on my TikTok, you totally can. Um, my TikTok is very random. I just kind of post whatever I feel like posting. I don't really have like a set. It's not like my Instagram feed where I like always try to do all things beauty. It's more like my Instagram stories is my TikTok. <laughs> but I'm having fun with it. So, um, so yeah, I have a little tutorial on there. But getting back to this one from Natasha Denona, um, I, I don't think that, again, this would be a really good purchase for my particular makeup collection. And especially with how much I've been loving the Charlotte Tilbury and really using that one. Like I think I'm pretty good there. All right, let's see. Um, I see a new palette, and this is going to be in the next Trend Mood box. So I'll be curious to see, I think, what are we on? Like number four, I think, with the Trend Mood box? I haven't gotten any of them yet. There was one in particular that really called my attention, but it sold out quickly. Um, so we'll see what the, the next one is going to have in it. But this will be in there. This is the, the Kimchi Beauty, the Unboring Highlight Palette. Okay. So this is a palette that includes six wearable fun stunning highlighters. It's going to be $18 available March 12th at Kimchi Beauty and then coming soon to the Trend Mood box. So that's all I see about the box so far. I don't think that I would grab this highlight palette. There's like a blue in there and a pink and more of like a, like a yellow gold. I probably wouldn't wear those myself. Um, I think it's really funny that this is called the Unboring Highlight Palette, but for me and when it does come to my highlights i i don't know i guess maybe i tend to be boring that's okay i'm fine with that i'm good i'm i'm good with that so i don't think i would get a ton of use out of this one but i'd love to know if you are really interested in that uh let's see um oma beauty is coming out with a new collection so this is the Black Magic Carnival Collection. We have the Black Magic Carnival Color Palette, which is $44. There's also a face and body bronzing highlight, $35 each. The Black Magic Carnival Lipstick, $26 each. There's also eyelashes. Um, and this is all going to be available February 27th. So should be available now. I tried a couple products from Oma Beauty. I did like their lipstick. I have one of their lipsticks in Maya. The concealer didn't work out for me. It, um, gave me weird, like, little bumps on my under eyes when I was using it, which was a bummer because I thought it looked really good. <laughs> um, but unfortunately something weird was going on. I did also try their contour stick, but again, as someone who doesn't use the cream products a ton, I just didn't reach for it enough. The eyeshadow palette definitely looks pretty. It looks more colorful, so I don't know how much use I would get out of that one. We also have the body bronzing highlights. Those look to be like, they'd probably be a little bit too dark for me personally. The lipsticks do look really pretty, but not necessarily shades that I tend to wear. And the lashes are very, um, like, I, I mean, it, it completely makes a sense to the vibe and the theme of this collection um the the carnival and all of that and i saw like um jackie Ina's photo with it like it, it i mean it was everything was like very beautiful and fun and kind of like over the top in that way but that's not necessarily um my makeup vibes so i can't say anything from this collection really spoke to me on that level but those are some new releases there if you're interested uh, I saw that Makeup Forever is coming out with new lipsticks. These are the Rouge Artist in 60 different shades and finishing. And there's this really interesting packaging on it that I'm not really sure I understood. Um, because it just, it's like really, 
long packaging. Um, there's 60 different shades, which is great. Like you'll probably be, like, I, I mean, I see nudes, I see reds, I see like a purple in there, pinks. Um, there's a lot of different shades, but I just don't love the packaging. And I know that you're supposed to be able, I was reading the comments, like you're supposed to be able to like twist it off for like, but then I'm like, I'm just not really sure I fully understand what's going on here. Um, you know, sometimes it's great to see like different things and all of that, but sometimes it also doesn't make the most sense to me. So I'm probably going to pass over those. I don't see the prices on this yet, but can't say that packaging really sold me on that one. Uh, there is a new collection coming from Zoeva. This is the Visionary Light. All right, so we have new baked highlighters in three shades for $26 each. There's also a new concealer, the Authentic Skin Perfector for $19. It's supposed to have medium coverage, uh, supposed to help nourish and hydrate, conceal imperfections, blur the appearances of fine lines and wrinkles, and then also a brush. The highlights look really beautiful. Um, I, I think that those look pretty fun. The concealers, I'm a little bit, like, I want to be interested in this one, but medi medium coverage, I really tend to prefer full coverage. And again, I just bought the new one from Pat McGrath. And I don't know, the Too Faced one probably sounds something that would be more up my alley. The Giorgio Armani also released a new concealer that I've also been considering. I've liked it on my Sephora list. So I feel like there's other concealers at this time that I'm more interested in. There's a bunch of new skincare releases that are coming to Sephora. Uh, Herborean is going to come out with a red pepper paste mask for glowing skin. Okay, um, Ren is going to have an overnight glow dark spot sleeping cream. Origins is coming out with a ginseng glow boosting gel moisturizer and mega mushroom soothing gel cream for eyes. Um, I can't say anything out of here immediately drew my attention in. <laughs> um, I The red pepper paste mask, I honestly kind of like freaks me out a little bit just even like the packaging of it, I'm like, I don't know if I would really want to put that on my, I immediately think of like my face like being really spicy and hot. <laughs> I mean, that's like, that's what, I don't think that's what would happen, of course, but like that's what my brain goes to. I'm like, ooh, spicy. I don't know about that. Um, Ren, I've actually never tried their skincare and the ones from Origins, uh, none of the brands are really skincare brands that I tend to find myself to be really loyal to. I think in that one, uh, really called my attention. Another collection, this one is from Sleek Makeup. They're coming out with a new eyeshadow palette in Chasing the Sun, a new highlighting palette in Fire It Up, and also a liquid highlighter. I believe that these are available now. Uh, I've tried the Sleek Makeup highlighters, the one with the four pans. Those are really nice. They're more affordable as well. Well, and uh, I feel like the, the highlight palettes that I've tried in the past have been really, really good quality. I'm trying not to buy as many highlighter palettes like this with multiple shades. Like I kind of am trying to keep it to like duos um, if so. So I wouldn't purchase that. The highlighting, um, like the liquid highlight, the illuminating drops, I don't really reach for those very often. So I don't think that would be a great purchase for me. The actual palette does look pretty, but again, it's just a little bit more bright and colorful than something that I wear on a daily basis. And I have some new eyeshadow palettes that I'm looking forward to playing with so I don't think I'll be grabbing anything from that collection. Uh, I saw a new collection also from Lime Crime. This is the Fairy Garden Collection. So there is Lid Light which is soft suede eyeshadows with a shimmery metallic finish for $16. There's a creamy body highlight for $25. There's also sparkly sheer glosses for $18. There's a hair glitter mist, unicorn hair, and deep violet purple and electric blue. All right. I don't feel like anything from this collection really called to me either. Um, you know, the single shadows look to be like maybe what I would wear the most of, but I really don't reach for the single shadows a ton either. And then everything else with it being just a little bit more um, either like liquid products or like the unicorn hair and hair glitter mist. I just don't, I just don't reach for things like that. So nothing from that collection really called to me either. I do you have a sneak peek of some more Sephora favorite sets that are coming out? These tend to always um, at least like spark my attention. Um, we have the Icons selection. This has three full-size products. We have a Fenty highlighter, the Huda Demi Matte Lipstick, ABH Brow Wiz, and a Deluxe Charlotte Tilbury Lipstick and a Tarte Mascara. There's also the Super Ingredients set. Um, so that looks, it looks like we have some Shiseido in there, Youth to the People, Origins, uh, okay, that's awesome. And then Summer Essentials. So I see the Hula Bronzer. I see what looks to be like a lip gloss from Marc Jacobs. Some maybe some hair products, the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream. And then also the 
Somerset and more. I think maybe is that one. I see Coco and Eve, Milk Makeup, um, and Busy Invisible. Bobby, is that how you say it? An assortment of some favorite sets that are coming. These do say coming soon. I don't know if anything right off the bat and these ones really kind of nabbed my attention. Some of the products that I see in here, like I already have them already, whether it be skincare, hair care, or body care. I feel like the Icon set will probably be the one that has most people intrigued. But um, with the Brow Wiz, it's like, what shade is that going to be? You know, it's always kind of difficult to put um, a brow product in there. But you do get the Charlotte lipstick, which if it's in Pillow Talk, I, I have it. The Huda Beauty one, uh, I do have one of those eyeshadows as well. I don't know if that Fenty highlight would look the best on me either for which one that I'm seeing in the photo. So uh, I don't know if I'll be grabbing any of these, but I tend to get excited over them. I tend to like give everything a second glance just to see if anything would be a good value or whatnot. So we have some of those new sets coming soon. And then I think the last thing that I'm just going to finish it off with is something that was really exciting for me to see. So my friend Amanda here, or Makeup Just For Fun, she did a um, kind of like a favorites bundle with ColourPop. So I've been seeing ColourPop do this with um, a handful of different influencers really over the past while here. Uh, I know they recently did one with Andrea, who's one of my friends on YouTube, and now I see one with Amanda or Makeup Just For Fun. Uh, it makes me really excited to see just collaborations with different influencers. That makes me really excited. And for um, such a big brand like ColourPop, who tends to have so many different eyes on them a lot, uh, I think it's really cool to see different creators spotlight it. So um, this one came out today. I'm filming this on Monday and it came out this morning. So makeup just for fun. I'll link her Instagram and also her YouTube down below. But she came out with the No Shrinking Violet. So it says the bundle includes a Lilac You A Lot palette, the Dream Lover Super Shock Shadow, the Prenup Super Shock Blush, the F4 Stippling Brush, and the Still Crazy Luxe Lipstick. You can also use the code makeup just for fun to save 15% on the bundle. Uh, so I went ahead and grabbed this this morning. I'm excited because I don't have this ColourPop palette. I have quite a few of them. Um, Andrea's bundle that came out had the um, Going Coconuts and also the It's My Pleasure, which are two of my favorites. I did a video recently ranking all of my ColourPop palettes. So I will link that down below if you'd want to catch that one. And I, I think those palettes are just so great. But I've actually not tried the lilac one. So I was like, score! Um, so I'm excited to try it out. You also get the blush, the super shock eyeshadow, the brush. I don't have that brush. And I know she said that's a good one to apply the blush specifically, which is great. And I also don't have that shade of lipstick, but it looked like a shade that I would really enjoy. So I was excited. I grabbed this bundle and I'm pretty stoked to get it. I used the code makeup just for fun so I got the 15% off I think it the total was like $38 I want to say congratulations to Amanda congratulations to anyone like I think I saw that girl Shay um did a bundle fairly recently as well and just anyone who's getting this opportunity a huge congratulations because that's amazing and you know shout out to ColourPop for giving other people in this community chances I love seeing that it's really cool to see brands that that do that sort of thing you know I think of Ofra Cosmetics because Ofra let me have an opportunity like that in the summer when I came out with my favorite spot with the three lipsticks and we put together our own custom highlighter I mean that was really that was such a huge deal to me and it was such an exciting moment to never know when you get an opportunity like this what it's going to lead to and the the potential opportunities that are going to be coming so um Again, shout out to anyone who's been able to have this opportunity, whether it be with ColourPop or any of the other brands, and shout out to the brands who want to give <laughs> more than like the top 2% of YouTubers chances because I think that that's amazing. There's so many good people in this community. I'm seeing it more and more and more, <laughs> I mean, pretty much on a daily basis. There's so many good people here and um, to have more people recognized I just think is such a fantastic thing. So definitely wanted to to shout that out and to say that I ordered it. So I'm excited for a new ColourPop palette to come in. I have the Blush Crush on today because I purchased that palette recently and then haven't tried it too much. So I couldn't include it in my ColourPop ranking. And I was like, you need to, again, like so much makeup, so a little time. Need to keep trying because I would like to get a review on the Blush Crush. And now I have the Lilac palette coming. And other than that, that is where I'm going to wrap it up for this week's Will I Buy It video. 
definitely let me know what you thought what has your attention this week what are you not so interested in please do let me know and as always if you guys did enjoy this video i hope that you'll give it a thumbs up i hope that you also consider subscribing before you go and i will see you in my next video bye